Managing money for a small business can be terrifying. I talk with small business owners on a daily basis who aren't quite sure how to end the cycle of being in the hole financially. That's why budgetologist Felicia Jones is here to share some budgeting tips that will help you take control of your finances and breathe a sigh of relief when it comes to your business. Felicia, thank you for the service that you offer <laughs> to the world. Thank you, thank you so very much. Yeah. <laughs> So I've personally experienced the, the financial stress of bad budgeting. I didn't realize what I was doing, but I mm -hmm. kind of figured out from somebody sitting down and looking at my finances that I didn't know how to manage cash flow. So how do you, how do you help people from the start with even just figuring out that that's the issue for them? Well, you know, the one thing that a lot of people need to do first is just acknowledge that their money exists. Yeah. And that's a big thing with a lot of business owners. You know, we get so caught up with the marketing and sales yeah. and wanting to go out there and show the world that we exist, but sometimes we just need to realize that, hey, the money is here and it's yeah. screaming at us. So the first thing you need to do is just acknowledge that it exists and understand that it needs to be a priority mm -hmm. inside of the business. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had to put a calendar reminder to once a month look at my QuickBooks and see what's happening on there. You am know, I in the green or am I in the red? <laughs> you know, that's um, one thing that I do tell a lot of business owners and especially solopreneurs. Mm -hmm. I call it the first and the 15th. Every first and 15th, you yeah. take one hour to look at your finances no matter what shape they're in. Yeah. And I say always do it between 6 a.m. and 9 9 a.m. Because after 9 a.m., you should be out there making money. Okay. Because if you, you can't have a budget if there's no money coming in. That's right. just called overspending. Right. So just take that one hour, the 1st and 15th, and just look at the big picture mm -hmm. so that you'll know what you need to do going forward. So good for you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it actually was sparked by somebody that did a little, she did a little, I felt like it was a little scolding in a talk <laughs> one time where she says, you know, first off, before we even get started with anything, you need to know if your business is a business or just an expensive hobby. Ooh, yeah, yeah. that happens a lot because um, <laughs> I have a lot of clients who run very expensive hobbies. Yes. And that's where we have to get to the point of understanding how much money is coming in versus mm -hmm. how much is going out. Mm -hmm. And that's why I always say if you are out spending uh, what you're making, then mm -hmm. it's usually a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> What is one of the biggest things that people usually are not paying attention to that's causing them to overspend? Well, it's the, it's the sexy side of business. Mm -hmm. We all want to get out there. We all want to do the marketing, the advertising, yeah. and just do it all. And sometimes we just kind of lose our minds a little bit. Yes. And we want to pay for everything. And I tell a lot of business owners, you cannot buy this success. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like it, and there's always a tool and a product that'll get you yeah. there faster. But this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Yeah. And so that is the biggest thing. We just get caught up with what's now mm -hmm. and we just need to slow down mm -hmm. and just make some really good financial decisions for our business. Mm -hmm. So what are your biggest tips for having a really financially fit and successful business? Well, the first thing is I like to build every last budget that I work on around giving yourself a salary. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing I want people to really put that system inside of your business because it's too easy to just forget about it and then next thing you know, you're making $10,000 a month. Yeah. And if you decide to take a salary, then it will disrupt the entire business flow. Okay. So first thing is give yourself a salary. I don't care if it's $5 a month, $10, it's just a system in the business. Uh -huh. Then of course, the first and 15th. Take that one hour on the first and 15th, look at your budget, give yourself a salary. And then also just ask, what did I do last month? And what do I need to do this month right. differently, especially when it comes to making those financial decisions? And the other thing is just to take a deep breath because we're all in these little, uh, we go to networking events or seminars and we get so caught up with like, I want that right now. Yes. And it's just like, no, stop, count to 10 and just take a breath and ask yourself, is this really going to advance my business? Mm -hmm. And then where's the money gonna come from to pay for it? Yeah. Either I need to go make some or I need to find some wealthy millionaire that's gonna fund me for the rest of my life. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> angel investors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of people that are, um, you know, buying these expensive coaching programs and things like that, and they're not really making money yet. Yeah. Um, in my head, it's very challenging because it's like, okay, well, you know, yes, the coaching program might help them learn to make money, but they're not making money, so yes. they're basically kind of in the hole until they start getting that together. 
You know, the one thing I will say about investing into your business, especially in coaching programs, is yeah. you need to have the bandwidth to uh, get all of that knowledge in mm -hmm. because most coaches, they're doing a great job. They have great information, but if you are not open and you're not ready to yeah. do the work, to do all of the homework um, that comes with it, then you'll kind of feel like you've wasted a lot of money. Yeah. So if you invest, just be open, have the bandwidth, and be ready to do the work. And a lot of, a lot of us, sometimes it happens, um, we think it's gonna come really easy without doing any work, so. Yeah, I wish it did. <laughs> I know, I've been Gosh. waiting for that fairy godmother to yeah. just <laughs> drop all this magic money on me. <laughs> right. And so you have a podcast now. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so how's that going? The podcast is going great. It's the Budget School podcast, and you can find it at budgetschool.co. It has been a lot of fun to just mm -hmm. talk about money. Um, and now I'm starting to get the feedback, and a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm just nodding my head with yeah. everything you're <laughs> saying. And I was like, why don't you leave a review? You know? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting a lot of great feedback from it, and I'm really probably hitting some nerves of a lot of people mm -hmm. when it comes to business and money. Yeah. I bet. And you have an online school too. Yes, it's okay. all budget school. Yes. So I am pretty blatant and to the point. So yes. uh, the online school school is a premier financial education platform yeah. specifically for coaches, consultants, and solopreneurs. Mm -hmm. And I take the time to step them through every last dime of their yeah. finances from giving yourself a salary to knowing the numbers in your business. So yeah. it's been a lot of fun putting that together and waking up some some um, very busy business owners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good wake-up call. Oh, it is. Because the business stuff is serious, mm -hmm. especially if you want it to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for all those great tips oh, and for sharing you. a little bit about your budget school. Thank you. Did thank I you for having me. Yeah, did I miss anything? <laughs> I feel like you've got so much going on. Oh, I can do this for hours. So <laughs> I only have a few minutes. But yes, that's about it right now. If people want to jump on the podcast, yeah. that would be great and just listen to all the things that you need to do better with your money. <laughs> Perfect, well thanks so much. Thank you for having me.